Okay, a continuation of the notes, right? Notes, here we go. Let's just jump in here. All right. So obviously we're solving here. They're going to say solve. We're going to get some answers here. Number one, we were working with uh, equations now. You got an equal sign, and now you got some uh, bases and exponents. Number one, let's go with... 64 to the power of negative 2x equals 16. What are we trying to get you guys here? What do we need to have first and make sure we, we got to get the same base? Same base. These do not have the same base. So does that mean, does that mean usually you look at the smaller number, does that mean 16 is going to be uh, the base here? Yeah? Well, let's see. What's 16 to the power of 1? 16. What is 16 squared or 16 to the power of 2? Hmm. What is it? 16 to the or squared is 256. So we're already way past 64. There's no way 16 can be the base. Anybody have any other ideas? Huh? 8? Oh, yeah? 8? 8 to the power of 1 is 8. What's 8 to the power of 2? 64. And how am I going to get the 16? It doesn't work. So guess what? It, it, it's not 8. Anybody know another number that has a base that can somehow give me a 16 or a 64? Well, it's 4. It's 4. How do I write 16 with a base of 4? 4 squared, right? 16 is 4 squared. And how do I write 64 with a base of 4? 4 cubed. But now I got this exponent, and look, there's another one over here. The negative 2x is up there. You guys see it? So what happens with this, with this exponent and this exponent? That's the power rule, isn't it? The power rule. That means you got to multiply this. Okay. So we got to find the common, the common base. The common base is not a 16 or a 64. It was a number less. It's 4. If 4 is going to work for this one. So what's going to happen here to finish this up? This is going to be 4 to the power of what? What do we do with these, you guys? Negative 6x. We multiply, right? The power rule, you multiply. 4 to the power of negative 6x equals 4 to the power of 2. Does everybody agree we got the same base? Now that we have the same base, I don't care what that base is. I don't care if it's 4 or 6 or 5. I don't need to worry about the base anymore. Once I get the bases to be equal, once the bases are equal and they're equivalent, I don't need to look here anymore. I just got to solve up here, right? We learned this yesterday. We did this yesterday. Solve the expression left up, up in the exponent. So what is it going to be? Negative 6x is equal to 2? Okay, you guys can finish that, right? Divide by negative 6, divide by negative 6, that's going to be x is equal to, remember when you have a negative, you move it to the top or to the middle, negative 2 over 6, but negative 2 over 6 can reduce to negative 1 over 3. That is the, the solution here. Okay, we see it. Yesterday, one of them gave you a hint of what the other number had to be written as a base here. Sometimes one of them will be the common base, but sometimes neither of the two are going to be the common base. Let's look at another one. Number two, let's go. Number two, how about this one? Oh, this one is one of them where one of them maybe does give you the, the base. This one was like yesterday's. I don't know why I put this one. Okay, what about this one? Does everybody agree this one? We know what the common base is going to be. It's going to be five, huh? Because I already know this one's five, so this one's what? Five squared, but then I got a what? 
The 25 is 5 squared, but see, i got to use parentheses because now I have another power. Is equal to 5 to the power of 4. Oh, I should have put this one first. This one's actually easier. You guys agree? And what's going to happen here? Well, 5 to the power of 2n is equal to? Oh, yeah, because these multiply, right? 5 to the power rule. 5 to the power of 2 and is equal to 5 to the power of 4. Once I get the bases to match and to be the same, I don't need to look at that number. It doesn't matter what that number is. You just got to solve what? The expressions left up here in the exponents? Yeah. What's that going to be? 2n equals 4. n is equal to 2. Yeah, we're good. That was too easy. Why did I put that one? Okay. That one, one of them, one of them might give you a hint. But here we go. Let's go back to the ones where neither of the two is, is going to be the common base. Number three. Number three. How about 8 to the power of x is equal to 32? Can 8 be the common base? Well, let's see. 8 to the power of 1 is 8. 8 to the power of 2 is 64. It can't be 8, huh? No. Anybody know what, what other number is going to work? 2. Very good. The common base is going to be 2. So this is going to be 2 to the power of 3. Your 8 is now 2 to the power of 3, but you got that x up there, so don't forget that. And... And this is going to be 32 is 2 to the power of what? 5. Okay. Let me see if... Um, okay, so you guys can finish this. 2 to the power of 3x equals 2 to the power of 5. You guys, you can, you can finish this? Solve 3x equals 5. Yeah, sometimes you'll get fractions, okay? You're going to get x equals what? 5 over 3. Five over three. Okay, do number 4. Here's number 4. Oh, gosh, I just erased it. Oh, this one's going to be easy. I'll put 4 and 5. 125 to the power of 3n is equal to 25. I think you know what that's going to be. And here's number 5. Oh, sorry. Okay, here's 4 and 5. Let me give you a couple minutes to look, work on that. Okay, I'm going to do number four. Number five is actually something that you have not seen. Here it goes. Here's where it's going to start changing the game here. Does everybody have an idea of what the common base is here? Oh, five. Come on now. That's going to be what? Five squared. And this one, I have the three in here, but that's going to be five to the three. Did you guys do that? Good. If you did. And then what's going to happen here? Power rule. 3 times 3, you better not put 6. 5 to the power of 9n is equal to 5 to the power of 2. Can you finish that? Are we done here? We got the same base? Yeah, right. We got the 5s to match. The bases match. Once the bases match, we solve up here. Are we, are we good? Is that okay up there? Everybody agree we we'll solve that? How do you solve 9n equals 2? Well, one step at a time, that's how. How do I, what's, what's your objective here? To isolate the n, the, er, the variable. Some people think you always divide by the small number. Is that true? No. We divide by the number that's here in front of this variable. Divide by 9, divide by 9, the, the, the 9 and the 9 divide out. You get 1n, or just n is equal to? Okay, are we good with that one? Okay, let me do number five, because this is something new I'm just realizing. Okay, here we go. 
On this one, the problem is this expression over here. You've never seen this before. I'm going to show you now. Anybody get the common base? We just did one with an 8 and a 32 over here. Didn't we just do one over here? Come on now. Okay, so check this out. Does everybody agree this is going to be... Okay, let's get this far. Everybody agree I got to change these? But these exponents are still up here, yeah? You guys agree? So 8 going to be what? What is it? 2 to the power of 3. And then you still got that negative 3p up there. Yeah, we're good. And 32 is going to be what? 2 to the power of 5. Is everybody good up to there? And then we still got this other one, but see, we got a, we got a different, this is new right here. We got something happening new right here, right here, something new. Why is this new? Can somebody tell me why this one is different from this one? Yeah, this one is a binomial, like two terms, where this is just a monomial, just mono, one, one term. Does everybody agree? I'm just going to do this, uh, this little step right here. Does everybody agree this is going to be 2 to the power of 3 times negative 3p? I know some of you don't need to see that. I know some of you know that it's going to be 2 to the power of what? Negative 9p. Okay. But I'm doing this for a reason because guess what you're going to have to do here? This is going to be 2 to the power of 5. And how do we do times? With parentheses, right? 2 to the power of 5 times negative 2p minus 3. Guess what? What's that? We've seen that before. You're going to have to distribute. Oh, somebody said it. Carlos said it. You see, that 5 doesn't just go to one of them. That 5 has to multiply to both those terms. I hope you did that. All right, let's finish it then. I already did this part. This one was kind of easy. This one over here is equal to 2 to the power of... What's going to happen when you multiply and distribute? Negative 10p minus 15. You guys see, you got to, some people are just going to multiply one and then they don't do the other one. That's not going to come out right. Long story short, we, we got our objective, right? The main object, objective first being to get a common, what? The common base, yeah? I got those to match. And, and now I just got to, we got to solve this. We got to do. We, we put these equal. These are equal to each other. Now we put these these equal to each other. We, we're going to solve. We're going to solve negative nine p equal to negative ten p minus fifteen. Oh, we're going to be done in one step. What's going to happen? How how are we going to solve this? How do you solve it when you got variables on both sides? I don't want variables on both sides. Well, let's move them all. Let's move everything to one side. No. Well, since the number is over here, does everybody agree? I'm going to move this one over here. So that's going to be a positive 10p minus 9p equals negative 15. What's going to happen? You're just going to get p, like 1p, right? Like 10 take away 9 is 1, so just p. Isn't it true we're just going to get p, which is what we want? P by, by itself or the variable. Everybody get the answer? P is equal to? Negative 15. All right, let's see if we can do another one like that. Um, what am I getting here? <laughs> uh, sorry. That was number five. All right, let me give you another one like that. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. Number six. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, we'll use 32 again. I think you know what 32 is, huh? Ooh, this one looks, oh, there it is. 32 to the power of negative 3 and y minus 1. This one has a binom binomial here. Two. 
And this one also has a binomial here. Oh, that's okay, we can do that. All right, what's gonna happen there? Well, I'm not worried about this up here, I'm worried about this down here. Who thinks 32 is gonna be the base? Isn't 64 32 squared? No. 32 times 2 is 64, but not 32 squared. Okay. Does everybody agree? That 32 and 64 have a common base of? Thank you. 2. We've seen 32 is 2 to the power of 5. What do you think 64 is? Ah, ha, ha, ha. Facil. Yeah, you're getting used to seeing some of these numbers and you're like, I know what the base is. All right, once you figure that out, once you figure that out, it's going gonna, it's gonna to start getting easy. But you're going to get 2 to the power of 5 times negative 3n minus 1. See, don't skip this step. Is equal to 2 to the power of 6 times what? You got to do that. You got to see that so you can see that you're going to have to distribute. Isn't that the distributive property? That 5 has to multiply to those two, and this 6 has to multiply to all the terms inside there. Okay. Um... I mean, so honestly, do I have to write these twos anymore? No, I got these equal to. I could just solve it, can I? Can I just solve it? Isn't it? Is, I, I'm done with the bases, right? I already got those set to be equal, so I could just solve this over here. The five times negative three and minus one, put it equal to. Thank you. Uh, six to the two and minus three. All right. What did you? What are you gonna get? Negative 15n minus 5 is equal to? Negative 15n minus 5 is equal to? 12n minus? Good, don't mess up there. Because, you know, one of these numbers is wrong, then it's not going to come out. All right, how do you solve equations where you got numbers and variables on both sides? You got to decide to move all the variables to one side and all the numbers to the other to the other side. So let's go with uh, I'm gonna do this because I know that this is negative here and I don't want to bring this over here. It's negative. I'm gonna I'm gonna move it this way to make the the variables positive. I'm gonna move the 15 that way. So that means that the numbers gotta go this way. You guys agree? Can we do that? So which ones didn't move? The negative 5 didn't move, and the 12 and didn't, didn't move. So what happens when I move this negative 18 to this side? It becomes a positive 18, no? And what happens when I move the negative 15 to this side? It becomes a positive 15. Oops. Arr. Is that, is that Is that okay with everybody? Okay, what's left? Okay, so 18 take away 5, you guys should have what, 13? 13 is equal to 27n. Oh, wow, that's what it is. Solve for that. How do you solve for n? Divide by n is equal to... Okay, well, this is what you get, and it doesn't reduce, so that's that's correct. Huh? Um, I did it the other way, so I moved, like, you know how you move the, the 15 and the 18? Yeah, you moved you the, move the ends to the left yeah, and the number, yeah. but you still should get the same answer. Yeah, but instead of that positive, I got negative. No. No, because it'll be 2 and negative. Because you get negative, you should have got negative 27n is equal to negative 13, and then you did get yeah, it, it's going to come out positive. Did you fix it? Did you fix it? Yeah, fix it. Okay, last one. I think you, I think you guys got it. Last one, number seven. Yeah, number seven. Okay. 
um, 625 to the power of m plus 2 is r. 625 to the power of m plus 2 is equal to 125 to the power of 2m. All right, that one's actually easier. Gee, I wonder what the common base is going to be. Yeah, I think you know what it is. Okay, I'm going to do it. 5 to the power of 4. Did you guys get that? 5 to the power of 3. Are you guys getting it like that? Is that right? 5 to the power of 4 is 625? Okay, so that's going to be 5 to the power of 4 of m plus 2 equals 5 to the power of 3 times 2n. Are you guys getting this or you guys are not there yet? Okay, that's going to be 5 to the power of 4m plus 8 equals, because you have to distribute, right? 5 to the power of 6, oh, why did I put an n, m? 6m? Yeah. And then once the, five, once the bases are equal, I don't need to work with the bases anymore. Once those are equal, I just got to work up here and put these equal to each other? Yeah. All right, so you should have, hmm, how do you solve this? How do you solve 4m plus 8 equals 6m? 8 is equal to 2m? I got 4. Oh, you got it right. All right, you got it. 
All right, that's it. I'll stop the video 